good afternoon everyone today i will show you the apache flink demo project which is very simple and you can uh, you can go through it to start your uh, beginning to learn apache flink uh, before i proceed with this example uh, i will i will give introduction about what apache flink is okay so as you know in our present world there is million of data for example in facebook you facebook receives millions of likes per minute uh, another example i will give like there is annual shopping day in china which is known as uh, a single day uh, sponsored by uh, alibaba so in november 2018 and 19 their sales hit billions dollar in billions dollar so uh, can you think or imagine what was the reason behind this to handle that much amount of data efficiently so efficiently what was the reason is apache flink they made use of apache flink in their data pipeline architecture apache flink officially handle that much amount of data traffic you can say millions of transactions were going on on that day and apache flink efficiently handled that so now you can imagine how much capable apache flink is to process to put stream data processing right now i will uh, tell you what is the difference between normal data and data stream okay in your, what happened in earlier days is there were pe many periodic etls jobs job to process the data what they did it is they wait the data will be collected and at certain interval of time job runs process the data and produces the output now as in present world we are getting continuous data every second every minute so uh, we need a framework which continuously ingest the data con uh, process the data don't wait that it, uh, for certain time continuously uh, process the data and produce the output so apache flink is the best framework that came to it before apache flink there were many other uh, frameworks like apache spark apache storm okay they followed the lambda architecture there were two different layer batch layer and speed speed layer for processing of data so what was the problem is it was difficult to manage different layer and for developer it was difficult to do coding so apache flink is the best as of now for data stream processing it provides various additional functionalities like there is concept of checkpoint what it does is flink internally maintain state okay and at certain integer interval of time using checkpoints it write data to any database okay uh, you can say Uh, snapshots and uh, uh, in case of any uh, failure uh, we retain the state from that database and application continues as it was previously going on okay there is concept of watermark watermark also for handling of late events that arrive late it is not possible that uh, data or events are generated we receive in the same order it may happen that a few data can comes late as expected so flink manage that handling of data also okay so there are many advantages and this is the reason apache flink is uh, uh, there is a huge scope of apache flink in future okay so i made a use case or demo project here what we did is what i did is uh, there are different zones 
east west north and south and we are calculating the total number of payment transactions that happened at different zones so we are counting as and when uh, transactions are coming okay means at any interval of time you can check the count of uh, transactions at any zone and you will get the um, total number of count updated count real time count okay so uh, okay so what is the pre requirement is first this is the maven project okay so uh, here you need to add apache flink dependency like i have added flink streaming java 2.1 dependency of apache flink also i added lombok dependency for getter and setter purpose and G json for converting data okay so this is the first use this payment by flat map here uh, first of all in apache flink environment we have to create an instance of stream execution environment so i have created stream execution environment dot get execution environment so using that environment you can set parallelism parallelism means uh, if i am setting it four means in cluster there are four sir four task managers will get created and task will be distributed to these four task managers now you can pre request is uh, you can go through uh, the uh, flink architecture uh, before proceeding this if there is concept of job manager and task manager any you know, parallelism we said that is divided among task managers here we have not taken apache uh, kafka here as a source here you can add a source as the apache kafka also here we have mocked kafka we are generating random data like you can see in this class we have implemented source function of payment data okay and we are overriding run method and we are continuously Uh, generating status random status we are generating random zone we are status we are generating if you will check in status there is multiple status started acknowledged dirty failed so uh, in transactions we will get multiple transactions having these kind of status so next what we did is we are filtering the input on the base of status we are we will consider only transactions having status as started and we will ignore rest ones okay then this was the class here yeah. then we are applying map function and sum function to calculating the count and key by what it does is it divide the stream on the basis of key key here we have taken 0 0 means field 0 in field 0 it's zone so on the basis of zone it will divide the stream means uh, uh, data having status east as a zone zone it will be going to one task manager of west to another task manager means it will group by on the basis of zone and then we are printing if i will run you can see what output you will show so here in console you will see the count of transactions so here you are seeing that there are four parameters location zone east west north south randomly it's generating component id is unique one and status we get only started as output uh, you can print uh, before applying this 
logic you can print payment you will get multiple status start date acknowledge fail but we are filtering and we will consider only transaction having started status so that's why it's displaying started status only and you can see event time is also shown to us so uh, if you will go down you can see count is continuously incrementing as and when that is coming south is four is this four and now is again come it's five so as and when data is coming uh, it's output it's processing the data and producing the output here uh, we are uh, showing you the output on console you can also um, write this output on file using write as text method okay and you can also write it to it to any database okay then there is another you will stop it otherwise it will uh, go on uh, another use case i have made is payment by window here window concept is also there in a budget link here we have used time window all for known key stream and we have taken interval of four seconds so it will wait for four seconds it will collect that data and then it will produce the output the result will be same but its view of working is different it will not process the data continuously it will wait for interval of time which you will define and then it will produce the output if you run this then you can see here it's not producing result after each count continuously it will wait for four seconds as you can see here west count is three so it is three north count is zero and south count zero total count is three so at four second interval it will show the output here it will show then it will wait for four seconds then here it will show the updated count right so this is the concept of window and then i also made two another use this uh, payment completion timer okay let's stop that window part and run this <coughs> here what we have done is will stop and then we'll show the output here what it is doing is we are calculating the total time taken uh, to complete any transaction like you can see here that any transaction having component id 10 if we will get any transaction having status started and completed both it will calculate the count between these like here it's 853 and it's 809 it will calculate the difference and it will show the alert to us that payment id for payment id 10 time to complete is 44 milliseconds so we will get this output right? for payment id 10 uh, time to complete is 44 seconds okay uh, so here what we are doing is um, we are maintaining the state okay uh, you can see there is map function here uh, yep here we applied the logic that if we are calculating the time if we get both status started and complete and we are clearing the state okay otherwise we are updating the state I have taken another example also payment completion timer advance here I made use of process function concept you can see like uh, here here you can see We are applying filter and in interval process what we did is we have taken started status okay and we are maintaining state 
same logic we applied here but we made use of process function here so that's why we override process element function here we have taken keyed state that is state root value and applied the logic you can go through all these use cases one by one yourself and you will get better understanding or clearance uh, for whole code you can take the code from github account and this is the repository p-r-i-y-a-n-k-a-94 s-u-t-h-a-a-r slash demo here you will get uh, the code available for these four use cases and you can go through it and uh, it will be really very helpful to you thank you